Well, financial innovation is uh, the means by which we improve our financial system, and it's a way of adjusting to changing circumstances in our economy. So, for example, as people are living longer and, and have to spend more time in retirement, may even have to work longer and so forth, their needs change, their financial needs change, and we need to devise new instruments and new means of delivering those same financial services in the new environment. It's also a way of dealing with uh, issues of crisis that occurred. We certainly have had our fair share in time and some say we may, I'm sure I'll have more. And when we've had a big crisis, it often is resolved or at least helped by innovative new solutions to try to address it, better ways to manage risks as new risks have occurred and ways to solve various problems that way. So the difference though is that the financial innovation, if it's done well, not only helps solve the crisis, or, but then provides continued benefits to society, often for decades into the future. So that financial innovation is a critical feature of uh, dealing with the changing environments, particularly ones in which we've had crises. Well, it's, there's no question that around the world, actually, in no particular place, we have a huge challenge for funding pensions, uh, particularly longer term. Part of this is a consequence of our uh, being just getting older as societies, and more and more people need to be taken care of relative to the base population. But the other part of it is good news. Your generation is going to live longer than mine, and that's the good news, no question. However, it carries with it that now, somehow, you're going to have to pay for those extra years that you're living. And part of that will be you'll work longer. But part of that is, is we have to be intelligent about how we solve the, the solutions of, of, of accommodating that. So right now, uh, some pensions are in difficult situations because they've made promises. Uh, the funding for them is not there, and so the challenge is where are they going to get the funding for it? And that's never easy. Uh, there's no magic. Uh, you can't create something from nothing. But what we can do is, is, one, address the problem of, well, we don't have enough money, we just have to solve it. But then make sure that the problem doesn't grow and grow and grow and grow and continue, which means we have to come up with a new design for the system which is sustainable. That going forward, once we've solved the underfunding, we shouldn't have this happen again. And so a large part of the work that's been going on, I'm optimistic, this is a big challenge, but I think I'm optimistic, is in designing new types of pension plans. Uh, some of them move from defined benefits to defined contribution plans, but many, many things, designing new pension plans and ways of saving so that people will have a su sustainable uh, standard of living in retirement. And part of that means maybe people have to save more, probably work longer, but that's not so bad if you're going to live longer. Um, and uh, so I think that uh, you know, on the whole we've got a big challenge and some serious problems to address about the current obligations but that I believe we're also through financial innovation and so forth designing new retirement systems that can sustain, you know, long run the taking care of retirement. Well, the, there's a huge retirement challenge in the, throughout the world, but it also, you know, and this challenge is, is, is real, at the same time, it also offers great opportunity for the insurance industry to step in and use financial innovation to create new products, to, to provide more efficient and more tailored products to meet individual needs at lower costs. And uh, in that, it offers the opportunity for substantial growth. Uh, as the populations of the world have become older, uh, the needs for people change. And there's a lot of need for retirement funding, for pensions, for medical, for other kinds of things, all of which are in the sweet spot 
of the insurance industry because of its very nature of its business of understanding risk and protecting people from the risks that they can't really bear. And uh, that's in spades for the older. The other thing that's special about uh, this, this situation of the aging population is that uh, it seems to be a scientific fact, as much as I dislike the thought of it, that after you get above a certain age, 75, 80, I don't know exactly the number, our ability to uh, uh, make intelligent financial decisions, I don't mean sophisticated things, I just mean our normal financial decision, it goes way down. That's just life. Um, but what that means is with more and more people in absolute numbers living much longer, that that part of their life where they no longer can be counting on themselves to make good financial decisions depends so much therefore when they are younger, let's say 65, 70, when they can make good decisions to plan for the time when they won't have that by getting commitments. And insurance companies are ideal for this for two reasons. One, they, are, they do naturally long-term life contracts for which once you have the contract, it just keeps paying you and taking care of you and you don't have to make any decisions. And two, quite frankly, it depends on trust. And trust in the institution, knowing that when I make this decision to look after me for 20 years or 25 years or more, that I trust that the institution is giving me a bona fide good contract, that it's designed in my interests. Of course, the insurance company should make money on it and everything, that's fine. But that it's designed in my interests. And that the insurance company has the capability, the competence to deliver on that promise. And so insurance companies having built reputation together with the experience of creating these kinds of contracts, life contracts, I think this is actually a big growth area, but it will need a lot of financial innovation to tailor it to the needs of this much larger and more diverse population who, because they're going to spend more time in retirement, um, have more specified needs. And of course, related to that is the medical that goes with the pensions, and uh, that's also another area where it's a natural for the insurance industry.